Hey traders, Akil Stokes here of Trading Power. I've got a big video lined up for you, but before I get into things, I just want to remind you the trade ideas in this video are just that. They're just ideas. These are trades that are on my personal radar, and in no way am I saying you should buy them, sell them, or involve yourself in the market. Merely, this is used for training purposes and help with pattern identification, and you should always refer to your own trading plan and your own trading rules before entering or exiting any position. So now that I got that out the way, hope you guys enjoy this video. Hey traders, Akil Stokes here, Trading Powered, and I know I gave you guys a syndicate video yesterday, but I'm going to give you one more today. Um, we had a great day in the live room, so I'm just in a uh, a really good, uh, really good trading mood today. Everything just seemed to click. And I also have a lot on my radar. Now, every once in a while, I, I like to do a, a syndicate freebie video. So this one's going to go straight on YouTube for the public to view. And uh, I'm not going to go into detail as much about the trades uh, that I'm covering just for, uh, for time's sake. It takes a while to produce these videos, and I don't really like going over 10 minutes or so with them. Uh, but we have a lot to run through, and if you are a cipher pattern trader, and if you do trade advanced patterns, I hope you are, seeing how it's the most profitable trader out there, well, you're going to be licking your chops at some of the opportunities out here. Now, like I said, I have a lot on my board. I'm going to try and only go over the ones that have a possibility of getting filled, um, either overnight in the London session or maybe tomorrow uh, but there are a few more out there still setting up sea legs uh, that may work their way up towards the end of the week so let's start off on euro dollar and you can see and let me actually get my orders off of here you can see there's a lot here on euro dollar there's a lot going on uh, again not gonna go through all of it but there's a big cipher we're still waiting for in purple uh, what is it? We have a, a potential Gartley pattern here in light blue, potential butterfly here in gold. But what I want to pay attention to is this cipher on the 60 minute chart in blue. And this one's going to complete up at 3378. So there's a good chance we may get a push up there over the London session and a chance to short Euro. Euro's been trading in a range, and well, as a counter trend trader, as an advanced pattern trader, range bound trading is great for us because we see a lot of these patterns happen back to back. And, well, we'll see if we can get a winner here. So again, Euro dollar 60 minute looking at about 33.79. Let's go over to pound dollar. Not sure if I have a potential in here. Yep, pound dollar. You can see we're up a good amount from a uh, up a good amount from the bat pattern we talked about yesterday. That's up about hit an easy target one this morning, kind of stalled out up about 70 pips, a little less than that. Um, but next in purple, you can see we have a cipher pattern as well. Now, for me personally, my second targets for this bat pattern, uh, the bigger bat out here in purple, is right below this 1618, or our, our 618 retracement. Now, our 618 retracement is at 5609. I'm going to cheat a little bit and get under the 56 even handle because, well, we know how powerful those psychological numbers are. And we had a great discussion about that today in the live room. Uh, so my target twos are sitting right below that at 55.98. Now, if you are a trader that doesn't have multiple accounts, meaning you have just one account that you do your swing trading on, you do this day trading on the same account, uh, then you have to make a decision here. Do you sit through here? Um, a, you sit through this thing and uh, let your normal targets get hit. B, you uh, adjust your targets down for the cipher pattern completion. So take your target, say, from 95 or 55.98. Move these bad boys down to, say, 55.74. What I would do is add two, assuming you're a two-contract trader, add two so you're selling three. What that's going to do is gonna, it's going to get you out of your one position long and then put you two positions short. We like to call that a stop and reverse. Uh, that is definitely an option. C, if you do have two accounts, well, Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I'll fix that later. C, if you do have, let me just get a stop in here just in case something happens. Uh, there we go. C, if you do have two accounts, well, then just uh, trade it on a separate account. You know, keep your 240 charts separately. Uh, keep your 60-minute charts um, separately and, and just trade this, trade this back down as a cipher as well. Remember, this cipher could hit complete roll down hit two targets and you still won't be stopped out in your bigger bat, pay, uh, bat pattern trade. 
Right, so that's pound dollar. What's next? Euro yen. Again, I'm not sure if these are on the 60 minutes or the 240s. Euro yen. Uh, we have a big cipher here you can see in blue looking at a completion down at 128.91 i've got my entries down at 128.94 again you may want to cheat it's going to be a little safer if you get these uh right above the 129 even handle um, if you want to ensure that entry i'm not too worried about ensuring that entry so i'm going to keep mines where they're at 128.94 but again if you want to give yourself a, a little extra leeway i'd get above this 129 even handle and say 129.02 something like that and look to trade this bad boy up if we do complete really quick let me just bring in a Fibonacci yeah, we're gonna get a 127 extension if, if we extend down right here that's, a, that's another good sign so that's euro dollar let's go down to Aussie dollar and again I'm apologizing for running through these things quick but uh that's why it's recorded and you can go back and many of these are in the, in the syndicate chat form anyway for you uh, for those of you that are syndicate members Aussie dollar excuse me there we go had to clear the throat Aussie dollar two potential ciphers on Aussie dollar a bigger one up here in blue that's going to complete at 9032 we have a smaller one down here in a uh, gold or brown whatever this color is completing at 8973 uh, now based on your cipher stop rules whether you're using the uh, the set pip rule say 10 pips you should be able to take both of these meaning that you can take the smaller one if that smaller one indeed does get stopped out um, you'll still be stopped out before the bigger ones completed and you can always shoot for the bigger one as well so I'm gonna shoot for both of these again our smaller one at 89.73 our bigger one up here at 90.32 New Zealand dollar not a new cipher on here, an old one, but we're still hanging on. Uh, this one's brought us through a lot of pain. You can see I'm only down 20 right now, and I, I say that happily because, well, we were down a lot more, but we're still fighting through this level. Um, I wouldn't enter this now, but if for some reason you missed it, we're near the original entry point. But again, I wouldn't worry about entering this right now. Maybe when we spike down and retest the X leg, uh, but not at the moment. It's a little too late for that. Um, and a, a key lesson on this trade is again, this is why we have stops under X. You know, when we enter these patterns up here, we should be well aware that there is a zone. This is a zone of where this pattern can complete. We don't know it's exactly going to complete here, or here, or here, or here. That's why we want to protect ourselves by getting our stops underneath structure and give the market some room to play around. Traders that put their stops right here and got stopped out, well, those are the rookie mistakes. And I used to make them too. So I'm not, I'm not trying to make fun of you um, the market has disciplined me many a time uh, for setting stops too early or, or too soon uh, so again as long as we don't break this X leg down here as long as we don't break and close below this 7736 there's no reason to, to feel um, bad about this trade no reason to get scared uh, it's just the market testing structure uh, but New Zealand dollar still in progress for those who are in there for the last few weeks uh, let's go down to dollar Swiss I think on the 60 minute with dollar Swiss another potential cipher now let's go up to the 240 uh, potential cipher on dollar Swiss here in blue looking at X to A A to B B to C C to D up at 93.42 for our cipher completion we have a bat pattern completion as well in gray up at the 886 93.67 we've gone through this many times how to handle this situation um, again, you can take one, take the other, or set yourself up. If you're a multiple contract trader, meaning you're trading two positions where you have one entry at one, one entry at the other. Uh, we saw something very similar to this in dollar CAD last week, and that trade is, uh, well, it's still in progress. I don't want to say it's doing well because, well, we haven't hit profit yet. But we saw a similar situation in CAD where the cipher got filled and we indeed spiked up to hit the bat. Um, so kind of a dilemma here. The cipher's... Ciphers have a better win percentage than bat patterns, so you take the risk of the market spiking up, filling the cipher, and rolling back down. However, if you wait for the bat pattern completion, you're going to give yourself a much better risk reward. So uh, that's something that you should have in your trading plan um, because this happens more times than not, especially with the cipher pattern being involved. Uh, so if something that's not in your trade plan, you need to uh, well start thinking of some ideas and, and write it in there so you're not doing one thing one time and another thing the other time. Remember, the key to being a successful trader 
is being consistent not only in your analysis but your execution again the key to being a successful trader is not only being consistent in your analysis but in your execution let's go over to dollar cad again nothing new on this but example again you can see in pink we had the bat pattern or in pink we had the cipher in blue we had the bat and you know up about 32 pips right now uh, we just put in new structure lows but haven't had target ones hit yet so we can't get all giddy and excited about it Whew, getting tired all right euro aussie <laughs> Euro Aussie, let's go down to the 60 minute. Another potential cipher pattern. This came through the syndicate chat this morning, uh, thanks to one of our live room members. Potential cipher pattern down here at 148.18. I have my entries at 148.20. Again, getting ahead of the market a little bit. Um, yeah, pretty simple cipher pattern. Bye. <laughs> uh, lastly, let's go to Pound Swiss. I think that's the last one that's on my direct radar. Yeah. Last one's on, on pound Swiss, a little skinny one, uh, but an impulse leg by our rules. And we'll have a cipher pattern completion up at 43.51. So we're getting close, uh, less than uh, a little more than 20 pips away from that. And again, that's pound Swiss, 43.51. This one may, uh, may get filled tonight or definitely over the London session. So that's it. Again, a little different than the normal syndicate videos uh, yesterday. I took a little more time to explain some techniques based on structure and trailing stops and you guys got to see me take that nice losing trade on Aussie Live. <laughs> That's always fun. Uh, today, kind of more straight to the point. These are advanced patterns. These ones you shouldn't have to think about at all. You have your rules. If this, then that. If this, then that. If condition one is met, condition two is met, condition three is met, you sell here. Should be pretty simple. So just want to run through all of the, the patterns that I have on my radar in this cipher friendly market and uh, share it with you guys so appreciate you joining me uh, syndicate members as always will be lighting up the chat software tomorrow in the live room hopefully um, hopefully you got a chance to partake in the amazing day we had today we, we changed our equity curve by about 4% or 5% uh, for the month uh, in just today's trading so that that went pretty well if you're not a syndicate member and you like what you see uh, this is what you get, you know. Aside from the the chat software, where I'm bring it over real quick, we're just Jason and I are just dumping in patterns and whatnot. Aside from that chat software, you know, you're getting a video like this uh, at least once or twice a week uh, with different trade ideas and, as in yesterday's video, uh, some training. Uh, so it's twenty bucks a month. If you don't think it's worth it, then uh, you're out of your mind. <laughs> <laughs> that's not great marketing but seriously I mean for something this cheap it's, it's definitely uh, definitely worth the 20 bucks and the feedback has been incredible and I, I thank you guys for all the positive emails all the positive messages on Facebook and whatnot so take care traders good luck uh, with these trades and as always plan your trade trade your plan I'll see you in the live room tomorrow I'll see you in the syndicate chat forum tomorrow and for the rest of you guys I'll see you this weekend uh, with the live room weekend review